As tensions with the West continue to simmer, Russia has been beefing up its military capabilities. One key piece of hardware in its arsenal is the aircraft carrier. Russian aircraft carriers are some of the largest and most powerful in the world, and give the country a major strategic advantage. In this video, we will take a look at the history of Russian aircraft carriers, their current capabilities, and what the future may hold for this powerful naval force. The Soviet Union announced the launch of a new project to construct an aircraft carrier, the Type 003. This carrier was designed to be the largest and most powerful of its kind, capable of launching its fighters across the sea, allowing it to destroy enemy radar systems. However, the project was soon cancelled and the dreams of a Russian nuclear aircraft carrier faded away. However, two years ago, the project was revived, leading to speculation about why the Russians had decided to pursue this project and what its technical characteristics were. The revival of the Type 003 project reignited fears in the West that the Russian Navy would gain a tremendous advantage in air, land and sea warfare. The project also highlighted the Soviet Union's history of aircraft carrier development, which had largely focused on anti-ship and nuclear submarines rather than aircraft carriers. The first Soviet warship designed for aircraft carrier use was the helicopter carrier of the Moscow class, followed by the Kiev class. The Kuznetsov class aircraft carriers were not considered full aircraft carriers by the Soviet Union, but rather carriers of heavy aircraft. Nevertheless, the Soviet Navy officials understood the power and potential of aircraft carriers leading to the development of the Kuznetsov class. These carriers were considered medium to large-sized aircraft carriers by Western military forces during the Cold War, with a full load of around 60,000 tons, and equipped with features similar to that of American aircraft carriers such as steam catapults. The Soviet Union also planned to use the Su-33 fighter aircraft as the main aircraft for the carriers. These aircraft carriers were officially known as the Olyanovsk class and were designated as Project 1143.7. The dimensions of this class of aircraft carriers have grown significantly in size, with a total length of 321 meters and an overall width of 83.9 meters, it can reach a full load of 75,000 tons. The Soviet nuclear aircraft carrier, Alyanovyska, of the Project 1143-7, was built in the year 1988 but was dismantled in October 1992 before completion. It was equipped with four KN-3 nuclear reactors, which provided a combined output of 280,000 horsepower. It differs from the American super aircraft carrier Kitty Hawk, which works with nuclear power, as it also contains a small surface component known as the Skyjam DAG armament system. The ship was armed with 12 P-700 anti-ship missiles that had to be launched from the deck of the aircraft carrier, rendering it unable to launch any aircraft. Nowadays, such armament on aircraft carriers is no longer acceptable. To supplement the offensive weaponry, it also included short-range air defense missiles and eight AK-630 cannons, as well as other defense systems which have been reduced appropriately compared to other Soviet ships. The carrier can accommodate no fewer than 70 aircraft. And in the year 2020, Russian shipbuilding experts confirmed that Russia is currently exploring the possibility of reviving the Olyanovsk aircraft carrier project following Admiral Kuznetsov's control of the Russian naval field. In addition to the Russian Defense Forces, research is being conducted based on the technical and design documents of the Soviet aircraft carrier Olyanovsk and the combat experience of the aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov, 
to inform the design of the new heavy nuclear aircraft carrier. Western and European countries are curious as to why Russia is announcing the development of this heavy nuclear carrier now. Many military experts believe that Russia is striving to create military and technological advances that surpass the American model. This has led to the Russian Navy's need for an upgraded aircraft carrier, similar to those the American Army has. Consequently, Russia's focus has shifted to developing a nuclear carrier. While some experts suggest that Russia is publicizing this carrier at this time due to the conflict in Ukraine and the fear of a NATO-invoked devastating war. However, the United States has not yet released a response to Russia's announcement of the carrier's progress. It is presumed that the U.S. is evaluating the potential risks that the big Russian carrier could bring 